The biggest surprise for me spending time in Antarctica and it was an incredible experience being in a place that, that not that many people get to was regardless of political background and connection between countries that there was no difference. There was none of that politics. You had people from the Chinese base picking up the Russians and the Chileans to then go and play badminton back at their base. There was often, you know, get togethers and parties and karaoke nights that all three and the Uruguay base very close and the South Koreans and all of them would gather together, free of borders, free of politics. And that was, that was one of the most surprising things and seeing how everyone got on was, was such a beautiful experience for me. Going out and, and following a group of scientists and walking through uh, an island which was a, a sanctuary, was an environmental sanctuary, and going with them and following their work and seeing them and watching them counting penguins, the species, the numbers, and walking through the, the nests and having the penguins kind of like nipping at the bottom of your, of your boots. I mean, it was just such a beautiful, incredible experience that you know, so many of us don't get to see and you realize how fragile these places are, you know, and the impact that we certainly, you know, have on the environment. We leave a large footprint regardless of where we are and regardless of treaties that are in place. There is increasing debris and garbage that is now found on sanctuaries and penguin sanctuaries across the water expanse where these bases are set up. So there are certain nations that are expanding their interests um, in Antarctica, and this certainly raises questions. And this may be the last bastion of exploration on the planet, and there are minerals, there are resources that are there, and it raises those questions of, of what is going to happen. You know, after the Antarctic Treaty is up for renewal, and we'll only see with time what actually unfolds. It's always about the impact on humanity, on us. Uh, this impacts us at the moment. It will have a direct impact on our children, our children's children. You know, we get sent on assignment out to, to these places. And my aim, my goal is to make a reader connect with the personal stories of people on the ground that are affected by this directly. So by telling these personal stories, that's how I'm hoping to connect and make people think about what they're doing and possibly change um, how we're living our lives.